Hello, welcome to part 13 of Dead Rising. Last time I had to pretty much just take one end or the other. But I had to go with the story because I never beat the game. As you can see, I got some new clothes. I got, finally got a hat. Let's go inside, get the Santa Capesa cutscene out of the way, shall we? I got those a bit because I had a little bit of time. Oh, John, nope, not yet. Not yet. Now we could start it. Cannot wait. What's this all about Santa Capesa? What is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency. So we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Yes, please. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby. <gasps> huh? Huh? Well, speaking of Dr. Barnaby, how is he? Jesse. Oh, God, he's gone insane. He started. He's turning. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. You're going to have to shoot him, dude. Or just knee him to the face. Good job, Frank. So, won't he just come back to life? Or was that knee to the face just good enough to kill him? Nope, he's still alive. Stay back. I gotta be more badass in the scene. I'm a zombie. Tell me the truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? And why is my shorts going through my legs? <sighs> zombies? <laughs> yes. Yes. We were conducting experiments to reduce the cost of breeding. We accidentally made zombie livestock. Come on, Barbie, hold it together. You're the only one who could give us a plot. So the government's now in the zombie making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover up? What do you know? We were trying to mass produce cattle. Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume? In a single day? Probably a lot. That is a noble that cause, though. Research was absolutely necessary! Oh! <gasps> 
And you just and you just take a rec right a picture, huh, Frank? Thank you. Whoa, he certainly changed in and out of a cutscene, didn't ya? Oh, you're still in a cutscene. I call his nose coming out, uh, blood coming out of his nose, nose coming out of his blood. One day, in my village. You mind? The Thank you. turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. Some spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. Uh, that's gonna be a mess to clean up. And now Dr. Barnaby is a zombie and now dead. And another cutscene. Wow, we are just getting a lot today. Thank you, game. We could take a break from gameplay. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case. We have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. She's offering it. Let her do it. If you don't get out That's of here, my philosophy. the truth dies with you. <clears throat> hey, I'm the main character here. I would like some a uh, couple extra lines, please. <sighs> All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. There you go. And they're not going to tell us if she got bitten or not. So. Yay! Wow, I have all plenty of time to kill till it goes to 11 a.m. Neat! Well, what to do? What to do? I guess I can just try and do those extra cases and whatnot. Next case will occur at 11. Ah, uh, Barnaby. You exposed so much at the last minute only to get yourself killed. Good. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. I oh, can't tell if it's a bite wound, huh? Well, shoot. Well, that's no good. Hi, Otis. Yup, pretty much. Alright, so the last resort, we have plenty of time. Strange group, that's with the cult inside the movie theater. We finally get to go inside the movie theater. Where they are pro where they are programming showing Mega Man 2. I didn't know there was even a regular Mega Man movie. Man, I did not know this. Only in uh Willamette, Colorado. Can you see that, huh? Oh, and yeah, I picked up a lot of battle axes because they're really good. I also learned that he could do a link technique. What do I mean by a link technique? Well, I'll show you if I can get by the crap load of zombies. I also realized I need some health. So I'm going to have to do that as well. If I can, of course, I'm going to have to go to the food court. If I'm going to have to get some food. I also... No, I saved. Whew. I didn't usually save at the usual place. Oh, God, they're still here. 
get out of here. I'm looking for some food, which there is food. Up the stairs. Thank goodness for that. Alright, there's a group of zombies. I'll show you the link technique. And... Dex. Let me show you the link technique. Okay, here we go. Whoa! And you don't even get dizzy from that. Man, if only I could add the Toon Link sound effect for that. That would be freaking awesome. But I am not that good. I'm going to have to learn someday. Hello, pie. Oh, what the hell? I'll eat something edible. It's been a while since I've eaten anything. And I'll take an orange juice. Yum, yum. And then I'll take another orange juice. I wonder. Come at me. Okay, nope, doesn't work. All right. You win. Even though I just killed you. I also realized I lost two bits of health. Ah, oh, what the hell. I might as well... Oh, there it goes. Whoa. I hit a chair instead of him. He is clearly the most overpowered villain ever to have been met. I'm not wasting any more of my stuff on you, so I'm going to go down to the movie theater before it's too late. Hello. Boink. Boink. Ooh, chopping cart. Yes, please. Ah, I hate when does that. Oh, no. Well, that was fun. I'm on my way. I got to get to the movie theater. Mega Man 2. I would not be... Hello? It's probably the cultist. I wouldn't be surprised if... If there was a thing... A, a sticker on that Mega Man 2. Ratman. Seriously. That's too awesome. It's eerily empty in here. Well, at least there's a bathroom. Thank goodness. I could save here in case if something goes wrong, which I hope nothing does. I'd be scared if something did. I also think I went to the women's re Nope, men's restroom. Yes, still keeping that tradition. Even though it wasn't a tradition to be in one. Tickets, popcorn, and drinks. What do you got back here? Chips? Oh, baby. Do I have orange juice? Yes, I do. I have orange juice. All right, let's see. Oops. Move. Theater 4. All righty. Pride. Fight for your honor. Cool, because For Honor is coming out, and no, I'm not getting it. Do Does that say door? Oh, God. Oh, God. Owie. <laughs> Take this! Oh, for God's sakes! Mm. Uh, my 360 controller is not what it used to be. Come on, there you go. You hit it out of the battery. You hit the battery out a little bit. It just... Oh, guys, you'll come Kamikaze. Oh, that didn't hit. Oh, well. Ow! Dang. Come on, we can get him here, Frank. Oh, that's gone. Well, I do have a 2x4. There we go. So sorry about that. My, my Xbox 360 control is not as good as it used to be. Not to mention the batteries are always constantly draining. Which is a shame. What's that? Pop Ooh, snack. Can I put that in the popcorn machine? No, I can't. Quick step. Hmm. Can drinks. Cardboard box. Is there food in here? What's that? A Mega Buster! Oh, that's a cash register. I don't want that. I did. I don't want that. I wanted the box. I saw a cardboard. A Mega Buster, though. Oh, man. I can't wait. Oh. Boo. That saddens me that it's not an actual Mega Man Buster. You disappointed me, game. Though, then again, I would assume that a powerful shot would kill you. <gasps> Mega Man 2! I'm gonna, you know what? I'm taking a picture of this. 
I'm taking a picture of it. May not give you zero, but screw it. Since when do you ever see one of these? Looks like he's going to space. Ah, here we are. Theater four. Oh, snap. Those who reject salvation embrace ignorance. Turn your tainted blood to the foul earth that has spawned you. And you look freaking badass, even though you are a cult leader. You know what? Since you have a sword, I'm going to use my axe. Bring it. Ow. Well, in terms of Fire Emblem logic, he should win. But this is the Fire Emblem, so he should have a chance. Ow. Hang on, time out. Time out, let me drink. Hmm. Ow. Come on, I think I have to wait for him to attack in order for me to get in there and to attack. Or I just swing too slow. Come on. Ow, come on. Oh, I should have known he was going to do that. Oh, that's not fair. Oh. Oh, yeah. This ain't going well. This is not going well. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm not going to use an axe next time. Oh, that sucks. Well, I will be right back and load up to here again. All right. All right, scene. Try it again. I got a sledgehammer this time, and I'll be sure that you get hit. Oh my god, he just did at least two bars of hell. Ow. The sledgehammer is doing more damage, though. Oh, you dick. Damn. This is probably the toughest boss I've ever fought yet. Also, he's actually chasing me, too. Haha. -ha. Hello. I wonder. Nope, hang on. I got an idea. Come here. Nope. That's too slow to attack him with. It's just too slow. At least the blunt from of the 2x4 does damage. Damn. Yeah, the 2x4 doesn't seem to do too much damage, though. I should have had a firearm. Or just got more juice. Damn it. I'm doing better-ish, but still not doing, but I'm not doing as much as I want to do. Oh, oh, now you don't jump it. Oh, oh, never mind, he does jump it. Oh, there's no way I'm going to win this. And I'm, and I'm sure if I leave, well, he wins. Oh, you dick. Damn. All right. I'm going to have to get at least two at least two fruit juices. I'll at least get two juices and then I'll fight them again. So hang on once again. Okay, Sheen or Sean, whatever. I now have a sword myself. So now we are on even footing. Are we not? Yeah, and you actually missed me there. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Come on. You're going to have to attack me. Oh, hello. Okay. I learned something. All right. When you're about to attack, I can attack again. When he's like that. Oh, man. I just don't... I now just needed only one orange juice. Since I know that part... Come on. I can get you now. Ow. Okay, hang on. I'm going to use one of my fruit juices here. At least one of them. Alright, I'm only using one. 
Oh, he's gonna prevent me from drinking it, aren't you? Too late. Come on. Ah. See, this is fair. I didn't know about the trade hits. I win. Yay. I feel stupid that I didn't know about the little hit stun before. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Oh, don't show me that again. Jeez. What's this? Brainwashing tips? Hmm. Escort survivors no longer fear death and ready, readily jump into danger. Ceremonial sword, huh? Oh, snap. Uh-oh. <laughs> snap, I didn't think they'd actually rush in here and get me. Good thing my katana still works. Oh, God. Oh, Beth, I'm oh. so sorry. Your cult leader is dead, yet you still want to try and kill me? These are some loyal servants. I'll say that much. Hey, level up! The roundhouse kick. Nice, ow. Ouch. Oh, hello, random zombie. And goodbye, random zombie. I am unfortunately going to have to... Uh-oh. I don't have any snacks. Well, the red face date. So does this mean I'll be able to actually escort them? Are you all right? Come on, Ray. Let's get you going, shall we? There you go. Are you all right? Oh, no. Ray Matheson. Nice. There we go. Now I got Michelle. So Take the sword. I am so right? sorry, Beth. I'm going to have to give you some snacks or something because that was totally my fault. Oh, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Are you all right? I'll save you too. Man, look at all these join bonuses. There we go. Son of a bitch. I know, right? I can at least give weapons now, though. Hey! Whoa! Hi, Sh Cheryl. Yeah! Hi, Cheryl. Uh. Acting like that. Well, hang on. What's in here? <gasps> Coffee creamer. Oh, Beth, here, here. Okay. Nice. Oh. Price is averted. Well, you gonna come or what? <laughs> Anything, huh? Sounds like fun. You want to come with? You ready to blow this joint? Thank you. Uh. Am I? Am I the only one that heard that? Sorry, Michelle. I need to get out of the way. Please. Thank you. Oh, Nathan's stuck apparently. Beth, I can't give you anything. Here, dude, gotcha. take you shall take this. Okay. Hold hands. Oh, I can give you stuff? Okay, you know what? You, Beth, you get okay. a sledgehammer. All right. You get a piece Thanks. of 2 by 4 Sorry. And you can have an axe. Right. Hell yeah! Okay. Now we're ready to party. Follow me. Hmm. Escort survivors no longer fear death. Ooh, a, a handgun. I might actually need that. Let's go. Nice. Oh, one of them seems stuck against the door. There. Now are you coming along? Follow me. Hopefully so. Another handgun. Ah, what the hell? One, two, three. I saw that. Come on, let's go. Go.
Beth, are you coming or what? Thank you. Ah, oh, these survivors. Follow me. Well, I am going to save because I never. Follow me. Oh God! Don't tell me. Okay, I was going to say, like, come on. You guys shouldn't be having trouble. There's like no one here. All right, I'm. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to save. I'm going to stop here. So now I'm going to have five survivors to escort. Yeah, I'm going to need to take a pee break. Whew. That was intense. So, thank you very much for watching. This was actually quite an action-packed episode. Well, cutscene and action episode, even though I died twice to a boss. And I feel bad that I didn't know about the dang hit stun that you can do. So, thank you very much once again. Take care of yourself.